23 uh, crews will go through from this second heat through to the final. And the second heat of the men's K4 is underway. They've just got out of the star blocks at the top of the course. All of these crews will at least qualify to the semi-final because there are only six crews in this second heat. And uh, probably, I would say, look out for the, the Russian crew, I think, here in lane seven. Very, very strong crew. Um, Anton Vasily, the uh, only remaining member of uh, Russia's World Championship winning boat from 2013. He's, uh, he's in there, Anton Vasiliev. Russia also won the silver at the second World Cup in Duisburg a, few, a couple of weeks ago, but this is a completely different crew. And uh, Alexander Sergeyev and Alexei Vostrikov, uh, both of those guys were in the uh, crew that won silver in the K4 at the other 23 Worlds last year. So three out of those four already winning World Championship medals in the K4. But the German crew, Felix Landes, Fabian Kutz, David Schmoud, and Gordon Harbreck look like they have the lead at the moment as they approach the 500 metre mark. They finished 8th in the World Cup in Duisburg. They're looking very, very strong to qualify here again today. But actually, it is that Russian crew, I think in the light coloured boat, that are the faster stroke rate as they go through the 500 metre mark. And those two crews are very close at the moment. Yeah, first game, 500 metre mark, but it's Duisburg, and Landis, Cook, Schmid and Harbreck. Nu var det stemme, som fik den russiske båd. Det ser ud til stadigvæk, det er tysk med en føring, men vi kan se her, at den russiske båd har sat deres frekvens en lille smule op. Det tager lidt flere tag i minutter lige nu, end tyskerne gør. Så vi må se, om det er nok til at hente dem her ned over de sidste 350 meter. And it does look like Russia in lane 7 looks to be in the lead. Well, very, very close at least to the German crew who are out in lane 4, and Russia have got a... Nice high stroke rate, a very good, very efficient rhythm going on there. Uh, Germans just a slightly lower stroke rate, but the race, I believe, is going to be on for the third automatic qualification spot. Uh, it uh, could go to any of those crews, really. Um, at the moment, it's going to be Canada, Norway, or Estonia that can get that third spot. But I think uh, Germany has gone into the lead as they go through the 200 meter mark. Germany taking the lead over Russia, looking very, very strong. Så er 150 meter igen, så ser vi tyskerne stadigvæk i døren. Vi kan se, at tyskerne tager rigtig meget på nu for at tage sejrene. Det kan være et godt mentalt boost, at man får sejren her, men som sagt, det er tre godt direkte i finalen. Vi kan også se, at russerne de stille begynder at presse på nu, og så kan vi se, at den norske både de stille begynder at blande sig her omkring de direkte finalepadder. Det bliver spændende at se. Undskyld. Jo, det bliver spændende at se, om den norske både lige præcis kan presse sig ind på den tredje sin finalepads. Jeg tror det ikke, nej, det er den estiske båd, der går ind i den tredje. Så er det nordmændene, de skal danskerne et smut i semifinalen. 